Welcome to lockdown vlog number 42. Another beautiful day in Rotterdam. And there is a question that I have. Do you ever encounter that you rediscover something that you already knew? Um, there's something I'd like to share with you. In my system, the digital equipment, the DA converter, CD player, DVD player, stuff like that, I always keep it on 24 seven. And the reason for that is because years, years, really years ago, I noticed that when I turn on the CD player and I listen to it, or I had it turned on for a few days and I listened to it, then it always sounded better when the digital equipment was on for a much longer time so from that period on i just left on my digital equipment and the rest i turn off at night now yesterday i had on this gear and just before i did the vlog i installed the uh, quad cd player and yesterday i wasn't too convinced about the sound um this morning well, I did turn off the um, NAD last night. I left on the CD player and the Chromecast, you see in the back, right over there. I left on the CD player and this morning, the sounds coming from this same system as I showed you yesterday is much, much sweeter. So for those of you who always turn off their digital equipment, their CD players, their DA converters, and only turn them on for a listening session or something like that. Uh, here's a little experiment. Take three or four songs that you know, do a serious listening session with the uh, digital equipment just turned on like you always do. Then have it stay on for two days. And I know that's going to cost extra uh, power, stuff like that, but a video or a video. Um, digital equipment doesn't use too much power and well it's an investment for a little experiment that you do so after two days do the same listening session and see if you hear any differences um, i'm convinced that it helps but you may have another uh, experience but uh, well happy experimenting in the comment section a few um, days ago somebody said what kind of dutch audio brands are there and i would like to know more about it and i don't know any now of course the funny thing was that my itos power and preamp are dutch and um, they are uh, built by hand they are Dutch, but this got me thinking and looking at, okay, what Dutch brands are there? And I thought, well, you know, that is actually quite an interesting list of Dutch companies that are big in this world. Now, one of the first that I would like to show you is Van den Hul. Of course, you know, my big uh, loudspeaker cables, um, they are from Van den Hul. They make a lot of cables and they make a lot of electronics and um, phono cartridges and if you look at the phono cartridges and here's mr van der hull by the way he's quite an old guy by now but i've seen him at many shows and he is quite the chatterbox he's always willing to talk to you i had some nice conversations with him had some nice uh, demonstrations done by him and well, he's is, he is a great guy and he's been on the scene very, very long and his carbon cables were one of the first things that he got famous for or at least got enough money to invest into all his other projects. So one of the elements that he um, makes, cartridges that he makes, for example, is the frog. And if you look at the frog right over here this is a 2700 euro um, cartridge mc cartridge that you can buy and this is 
in no way is this his most expensive uh, one but so that's one um, Dutch company van den Hul let's move on to another one maybe you have heard of this Siltec this is a Dutch company and they are very famous for making um, cables and if you look at projects they have a lot of different cables they look beautiful reviews are very positive about their um, about their stuff and I have one of their cables I used to have more but I sold them well you know how things go sometimes you need money and then you sell something but if we look at um, is this working come on well no it's not working let's do it like this one of their uh, loudspeaker cables is the siltec classic and this is a 4300 um, and this is for just one meter stereo and it will cost you and what do i have i have some two and a half meters so if I want to um, do that, can I, what, well, no, that's not what I want to do. Come on, go back. I wanted to see what two and a half meters uh, um, by wire, no. Ah, there we go. So for over here, I have about two and a half meters of cable would cost me 7300 and those are not their most expensive cables by far but siltec is another dutch company um, another company that is coming up rapidly is mola mola and the last um, high end uh, in munich last year and in my video about that um, Munich 2019, I told you about this guy who was doing um, differences in loudspeaker cables from uh, AudioQuest and they used the original Monster cable to demonstrate. And what they used for amplification to do that test was um, the amplification from Mola Mola, which is another Dutch company. And over here, this is their preamplifier. And as you can see, this is a 8,500, 8,490 euros um, preamplifier. And that's all there is to it. Let me see if we can. Um, can we see the rear of this thing or not? Apparently not. Anyways, anyways, this is Mola Mola, a Dutch company that is really coming up uh, hard at the moment. Okay, what have we here? Another cable company. So Van der Hull makes cables, uh, Siltec makes cables and Crystal Cable also makes uh, cables. If we go to their projects, um, there's a lot of different cables that they make, interconnects, uh, power cables, uh, loudspeaker cables, um, HDMI cables they have, I see, USB, Firewire, hmm, okay. And I have one of the cables which is the crystal cable micro not the diamond version but this crystal cable micro is a 419 in the cheapest version and the version they show over there i don't know what's different on it but this is a 519 euro cable i have a micro i can't show it you just here because at the moment this cable is sitting between at my girlfriend's house sitting between the Marans amplifier and the Nakamichi CD player that I have over there 
because one of the uh, benefits of a these are very thin wires and unlike the white Oyaida cable that I showed you yesterday which is connected to um, well it is still connected to the system that I just showed you but that thing is very big and it doesn't bend very easy these uh, crystal cable cables are so so very thin that they bend easily so you can get your equipment closer to the wall which was something that was important at my girlfriend's house um, interestingly enough we have had crystal cable I just showed you showed you Siltec cable uh, interesting detail is that Siltec is the husband from the woman who is running crystal cable they are man and wife and um, both of them are Dutch and this is another Dutch company to be proud of and well known in the rest of the world let's see the last one that I I'm going to show you there's more but these are the ones that are, are bigger karma <coughs> excuse me Karma is now making some incredibly beautiful, well-built loudspeakers and amplification. Um, they are really a name in the big, expensive audiophile world. But many years ago, I'm talking maybe 30 years ago, they started here in the Netherlands. They started off as a DIY company. You could s s uh, buy uh, drivers and everything you needed to build your own um, loudspeaker and in doing so they also made their own design at the beginning and actually they had some success with that design and from that um, they progressed onto what they are today which is this high-end company um, that makes absolutely wonderful stuff the booth that they have at the high-end shows in München is always filled up with people. And if we look at their price lists, um, the Karma Enigma, can I make it a little bit bigger? The Karma Enigma Veyron Diamond will set you back 650,000 euros for one pair of loudspeakers. And I believe these are not even the most expensive of them. Well, apparently they are, as I don't see anything else. Um, so if you have 650,000 euros and you would like a nice loudspeaker, this may be the one to get. Okay, so Van der Hull, Siltec, Mola Mola, uh, Crystal Cable, Karma. If you are looking for Dutch companies that are doing well, in this audiophile high-end world these are some of the companies that you should check out and that is what I wanted to talk about to you today so from another beautiful look at the wonderful sky this is so nice the view that I have I know many people of you many of you people have been commenting on you have a nice view and you know what I do have a nice view <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much for watching today and I'll see you tomorrow.